that's the most simplistic way I would explain how to study drawing and how to make drawing fun every day for you in order that you don't stop drawing. This is how I would study faces in 2016. Pure repetition. I would take references and I would draw it over and over and over and over. Do I still practice like this? I don't. And I also want to tell you why in this video. The first part of the sketchbook is, as you can see, more of a older version of studies. The stuff out of college where I would try to design characters and kind of like try to do some fashion designing and stuff. So really old stuff from 2016. This is how I would make drawing fun for me. Basically I was so on fire and I had so much fun drawing every day. Basically I wouldn't care how I would practice. I would just make sure that I draw like crazy, that I draw a lot. Is this an efficient way to study and drawing? I wouldn't think so, but I just didn't know better. It's the same thing with environments. You see I never finished this because it was so meticulous. I would kind of like take photos and just do these black and white drawings to just learn shadow shapes. Same for clothing. These are Copics, so I would make these Copic drawings. And this was a way to just learn for me. I would just try. And I say it's not bad to do that, but I would not recommend it to myself anymore if I would have the chance and opportunity to talk to myself. So here in German, I wrote myself uh, sketch is really bad. I have to take more time for mixing the colors. I have to plan it better. Where's the light source? I need to get better. Now, why do I tell you that? Since I got asked to make a study timetable and I got asked how I do my general approach at the moment with drawings and learning and everything, I wanted to show you how I did it back in the day and I also want to show you how I do it today. Because I think my method today is much more efficient. What I did at some point when I got back to drawing, I realized I need a better approach of learning. It doesn't work for everyone, right? My method will technically not work for you. Nevertheless, I think it's important that you figure out what works for you. So I found out for myself that three hours per day of drawing works completely fine for me. I can focus on certain things in three hours. I don't lose my focus. I don't draw too much that I'm exhausted on the next day. So I have more longevity in my process. So I can kind of like chop it down. Now, how would that look? Basically, I wrote myself a schedule. Uh, so in the first four weeks, was basically all about fundamentals and observation drawing. Every day, one hour, I focus on fundamental exercises like lines, shapes, and basic forms, kind of like a warm up. Second hour is practice observation drawing. So I choose simple objects and I gradually progress in my complex subjects. I start with something simple, like let's say I try to draw a phone, right? Very simple. And then I would kind of like move over to something more complex, like a camera, for example. The third hour, so number three is basically gesture drawing. So I would kind of like try to capture essence and try to figure out um, how figures are moving. And this I would do for four weeks. After these four weeks, I would move over to anatomy and figure draw. So for one hour, again, I study anatomy, starting with the skeletal structure, um, moving muscles, etc. Then I would apply that knowledge. And then I also would emphasize proportions, gesture, and whatever thing. And then I would also start to create stu studies, or I would actually try to apply that. At some point, I also started to add Im imagination. To it right because what I think most people forget is imagination is something that we have to train it's like a muscle it's it's like an extra skill of fundamentals every time I hear people talking about fundamentals they never mention imagination but I'm 100% sure that even if you are trying to be a designer your imagination is so important we have so many habits these days where people go on Pinterest and just copy things they just look at things but when you design you will want to create something out of something. So you have to imagine. And if you don't practice that, you have trouble. So I started also, I think this is what we drew on stream. I started to just do these scenes out of my imagination. There is no quality stamp. There's no real thinking. All I wanted to do was I want to communicate something, maybe a little bit of story, maybe some something where someone... Some, a person would look at and make the story in their own head. It doesn't need to be the story I had in mind. Sometimes it's something stupid. This is kind of like a diary entry where I just lose myself into it. And then I would, this is something I would do as a warm-up, basically co doing complex 
drawings. And yeah, I would kind of like do these notes, like drawing from observation, uh, was a firefighter in a tram. Very simple, right? Then again, it's the practice of gesture, but gesture from imagination. Then also switching the subject to animals, right? At some point I started to draw frogs. I don't know why, I just like them. I would do studies and then I would do a drawing from imagination. And then just draw from imagination. So this is how I would approach every single day. Study and warm up at some point, apply the knowledge at the other point and always continuously do that. Anatomy, then it is uh, anything I'm interested in, but this is the way I would make drawing exciting for me. And I think that's the most important part is to make drawing exciting for you. Find something you wanna study, find something you wanna learn, get information, understand, and then try to apply that info. Right? Try to draw and it's like using the info you just got to draw something. The learn effect is much bigger here rather than just blindly copying. So at some point you just can like you want to make it natural. This is all from imagination. It doesn't look like something but it's basically just out of my brain having fun. I'm just having fun. This is the only important thing and it's the only thing you want to do is kind of like getting better, getting excited about the things. I just started to learn watercolor for myself. I never got taught in a classical artistic way how to draw or how to paint, right? I had to teach myself everything. So I had to find a way to teach myself. And I'm still doing that. Now, at some point when I want to study anatomy, uh, these are from our Draw With Me session with the skeletal bones. Definitely check out the videos. I will put it in here. If it's anatomy or if I want to share the info, the way I'm learning, I'm basically sharing with you. Same thing, here's basically also completely from imagination, applying the knowledge, learning brush pen here. Using brush pen, so this one basically doing that, learning everything, applying for how many hours I want to do. I think I drew this for four hours or something because I really had fun. Same thing, just doing application. I do a study of a samurai on an, in a different sketchbook, I think, and then applying that knowledge by drawing it again from my imagination. That's the only way I, I found for myself to study and strengthen that knowledge. And I would highly recommend to try it. I don't say it should work for you, but what I think it's important, you should first figure out what you want to do, where you want to go, and then give yourself a time frame on a daily basis. Make sure you draw every single day and make sure it's not too much. Start with one hour, that's fine. For me, three hours is perfect. That's the magic sauce. But everything else, you have to figure out for yourself. And then figure out what you want to learn. Start with the fundamentals, write yourself a plan, and then just go. And don't do it for every day. Don't switch it up every day. That's the most simplistic way I would explain how to study drawing and how to make drawing fun every day for you in order that you don't stop drawing, right? I hope this video was helpful and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.